I'd like to ask the Minister for Enterprise if you'll make a statement on the works that have been carried out to the Castle Russian prior to reopening on the 25th of May 2018. Now, on this occasion, this is to be answered by Mr Collister on behalf of the Department. Thank you, Mr Deputy President. Castle Russian is one of the nation's greatest monuments and of international importance. It was transferred into the care of the Manx Museum and National Trust in 1988. Parts of the complex are over 800 years old and much of it has had none of it has had any significant repairs or reconstruction since it was converted into a prison in 1816 and restored in 1907. During 2011 and 2012, Manx National Heritage carried out an extensive programme of investigations into Castle Russian to develop and a conservation management plan. Such plans are essential, are essential to identify issues such as maintenance, problems and to assess challenges. The process gives opportunities for stakeholders to participate where it was endorsed by, the, and this management plan was endorsed by the trustees in 2012. Since 2012, a number of innovations were taking place to tackle structural issues such as leaking roofs and water penetration into the stonework. Gorse was also removed, cleared, and masonry repointed. The famous Tudor clock facing Castletown Square has also been repaired in 2016 and the site and the civil, civil war gun by the river was also protected through landscaping and uh, the renovation of the former military garrison building. The cafe in the building also provides valuable facilities to visitors in the town. The most recent innovation took place this winter when there was a significant upgrade assessed, where we obsessed, um, upgraded and assessed the visitor area into the castle, which, complied, which complies with the new bis, um, disabled disability access legislation. The improvements include installation of um, a powered glass door, a new floor to the outer gatehouse, a new bridge into the keep, new ramps and decking into the central courtyard of the keep. In addition, new facilities have been installed to explain more about the building and the different parts it plays in the Manx history over time. These include a new 360 degree photography of the entire building to allow those who, do not, who cannot um, access the spiral staircase to see above ground level. Further improvements and maintenance will follow in future years as resources permit. However, it is worth adding that Derby House the Tudor residence of the Lord of Man was not transferred into the Manx National Heritage in 1988. Restoration of this area is complex and the access for the gun and we are still waiting um, additional fundings to carry out additional work. Thank you Mr Pre Deputy President. Supplementary question Mr Morehouse. Thank you Mr Deputy President and thank you for such a detailed answer. I would be grateful if the political member could explain how the changes will improve access to the castle and the impact of this. Or Mr Collister to reply. Thank you, Mr Deputy President. Apologies if I didn't make that clear. I, I, I'm sorry about that. The installation, what actually the work has been undertaken, we've installed a new power glass doors, a new floor into the outer gatehouse, new, in, in respect of the, the new bridge in the keep as well, new ramps, deckings and the central courtyard of the keep, all complying with new disability legislation, Mr Deputy President. Supplementary question, Mr Morehouse. Thank you, Mr Deputy President, and thank you for the answer. It's really massive move forward, that is. Um, given the work is now complete, has the political member any date for when the scaffolding will be removed from the area? Mr Colston, to reply. Um, thank you, Mr Deputy President. I had a feeling that question was going to come. Unfortunately, I haven't received the date before we came into this court this morning. I have already made representation, and as soon as I get that information today, I'll pass it on to the Honourable Member. Country question, Ms Edge. Thank you, Mr Deputy President. Would the member be able to circulate the conservation management plans so that we can be aware of what possibly will come forward in the future too? Alistair, to reply. Um, thank you, Mr Deputy President. Yes, I'm, I'm happy to do that. I'll, I'll contact uh, Manx National Heritage and circulate that document.